crisis has most people thinking about ways to cut down on driving. But what can you do to avoid firing up the car to go on trips around town? Well, Nine News reporter Bryce Onslinger is live downtown with details on an alternative form of transportation. Bryce? Well, Clyde and Carol, this is a segue, and you've probably seen mall security guards using these in the past, but recently consumers and more businesses are starting to use this two-wheel device. As gas prices grow, so do the phone calls. Sean Jenkins is the owner of the Segway store downtown. He touts his device as an investment for you and the environment. Several police departments are buying into the idea. The city of Hamilton just bought four Segways for its officers. So you park a cruiser for eight weeks and it's going to pay for the cost of a Segway. The Segway is still a luxury item at $6,400 a unit, but you can't beat the mileage at one penny per mile. Jenkins is hoping to reach a broader market with the electric bike. For $2,700, you can get a bike that rides 20 miles per charge, or you can upgrade with two batteries. That bike will cost you $3,500 and travel 40 miles per charge. So if people start looking at their options other than a car, you know, it may not be able to replace your car, but can you use this instead of the car sometimes? Jenkins is banking on the idea that you can. All right, now these are pretty easy to use, although I am on a cord right now with the mic, which makes it a little more difficult, but I've only been using it for a little while and have been able to go around the block, so I won't get too tricky here with this cord hanging on to me. But if you're interested in checking one of these out, they have tours that go on the riverfront as well as downtown and up at Eden Park. Carol, back to you. I'm thinking you enjoyed that, Bryce. Just thinking.